Hi, my name is Dr. Justin Davis, and today we'll be discussing nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Now, nasopharyngeal carcinoma is a kind of cancer that develops in the nasopharynx. The nasopharynx is located just behind the nose and just above the throat. It's an area that's often very difficult to actually see. Now the good news is, is that this is a very rare cancer and it's only diagnosed in about 2,000 people every year in the United States. Usually people that are between the ages of 30 to 60 are the most common to be diagnosed with nasopharyngeal carcinoma. The symptoms are variable, but usually because of its location will depend upon where exactly it's located. So for example, maybe you're having difficulty breathing properly through your nose, or maybe you're having excessively bloody noses or spitting up bloody sputum. Maybe you just feel like there's something located in the back of your throat or near the top of it where you, that you can't get rid of. Or often lymph nodes when you have cancer will be enlarged. So maybe some lymph nodes underneath your chin or in the sides of your throat could constantly be enlarged for no known reason. And with any cancer, you may have some other kinds of symptoms such as fever, chills, malaise or fatigue where you're fatigued all the time. So what do we do to treat this once it's diagnosed? Well, treatment usually depends upon the stage of the cancer and where it's located, just like with any other cancer. Typically, the treatments that we employ will be a combination of surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy. How can you prevent this? We don't exactly know what causes this. It's always a good idea to avoid certain kinds of carcinogens, meaning things that cause cancer, such as tobacco products, maybe chewing tobacco or cigarette smoke. These are associated with many kinds of cancers, such as oral cancers, and probably play a role in nasopharyngeal cancer as well. The important thing is, if you think that you may be having symptoms that could be some of the ones I described or anything else that you're concerned about, let a doctor know right away. It's probably not nasopharyngeal cancer. This is a very rare cancer, but it could be something else that's potentially serious and needs urgent attention.